Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow up on that uh, pre war motor that we resurrected from the dead. I looked around, I stuck it in this 898 shell. Now, this 898 shell is missing its uh, number board, but it is complete. Anyway, drop the motor in here. That uh, front crossbar fits it perfectly. So, getting ready to uh, run it for the very first time on the rail. So, I wanted to do a quick video. It's a bit noisy, but it runs. So let's put this on a consist and take it around. All right, on the uh, fifth rail pulling, I believe there's 10, 10 litho cars on here. As you see, up and run. It runs forward. It runs reverse. It has a working headlight, working E unit. So, installed bearings, wheels, push rods, intermediate gear, contactor, and front crossbar. And as you see, it's worth the time it takes to do this stuff. This is running absolutely perfectly. It's old, 80 plus years, but it's actually running really, really well. And in that 898 shell, it is virtually authentic. So an old single reduction motor, pre-war, up and running. Now, as you see, it doesn't look bad. I don't think any anyone would object to owning it. It is quite old, but it runs well, as you see. It has mismatched push rods, but oh well. It has matching spoke wheels, that's the important part. I can always change out the push rod. In the meantime, it gives me not only a new running motor, but a new running locomotive. As you see. Anyway, I just wanted to do a follow-up video on that motor. If you have the parts, a wheel puller and a wheel press, you can fix anything. So a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.